Hello and welcome to this ninth episode of my YouTube series, Being Effective with Upnote. This is a series where we've been going through like a basic tutorial of how to use Upnote, which is the, the note-taking application uh, of choice that I use. Today we're going to finish this part of the series uh, with Upnote Mastery. What I'm going to do today is give you an overview of the top features and uses for Upnote uh, that take things to the next level in making the best use of this app. Some of it is going to be stuff that we've covered before, but I'm going to show you some of the ways in which I'm using the features day to day rather than just how they work. So let's dive right in. Um, so the first thing I'm going to talk to you about is using Upnote to create content, whether that's uh, blog posts or uh, YouTube videos or podcasts, newsletters, that kind of thing. Um, now, I've used a lot of apps uh, to create content over the years. My favorite was probably an app called Inspire Writer, but that was only available on Windows. Uh, and as you can see, this is a Mac. I know a lot of people swear by having a dedicated uh, writing app, something like Ulysses or something similar but personally I've often wondered why would you spend so much money uh, with a subscription service to an additional app like that when your notes app could work just as well for actually writing and Upnote has some features that I use that make it really powerful so for my content creation I use three main features of the app so for writing my content I use focus mode now that's, uh, as I said before, this thing here, or you can use that shortcut Command Shift F, which I'm going to do, and that just gets rid of everything that might, all of the extra stuff in the app, Command Shift F or Control Shift F if you're on Windows. Uh, I would also tend to put it in full screen to get rid of all of the distractions that there are from the computer outside of the app. And then I use typewriter mode, which is uh, Command Shift T or Control Shift T to put the cursor in the middle of the screen. This is where this is where we type, and then wherever you go, the cursor is in the middle of the screen. And if you want to take it one step further, you can get rid of the formatting bar uh, or use the keyboard shortcut Command Shift A. And then you have a completely distraction-free writing environment um, for you to just crack on with your writing, which I know some apps, you can't go to this extent, but some of the more dedicated writing apps would have this kind of distraction-free environment for you to write in. So this is what I do when I'm writing all of my content. It means that there's nothing on the screen that is going to distract me from what I'm trying to do. Uh, so I'm just going to come out of full screen mode now and go back to here uh, and I'm going to turn typewriter mode off. The other thing I do with content creation is I use uh, multiple notebooks. So you can have notes in multiple notebooks and uh, that is something that I do. I don't have loads of notebooks for this. I've got a f quite a few here you'll see in my sort of content creation thing. Some of these are a, a bit irrelevant now, but having notes in multiple notebooks when I'm working on them is really helpful. So you can see I've got this draft posts notebook here and I've also got this uh, YouTube one here. Um, so this is the note in the YouTube notebook for this particular video here and you'll note that it is in the YouTube notebook and the draft posts notebook. When I publish it and it goes live I'll remove it from the draft posts and put it in this published notebook here. Uh, I've also got a notebook for outlines and plans, uh, the podcast, uh, other things as well. And so it means that all of my content is organized both by the type of content it is, whether it's a YouTube video, a short post, podcast, my sort of newsletter thing, 
or a blog or a blog post and it's organized by its status as to whether it's drafted or uh, been published. That really helps me because when I'm working on uh, co creating content I just go straight into my draft posts um, and everything that I'm working on is in there but then if I want to see all of my YouTube videos or all of my blog posts they're in there and if I want to see a list of everything that I've published that would be down in this one here. A feature that I hope they release at some stage in the future is the ability to filter your notes based on the notebook that that they're in where they're in multiple notebooks so you know you could filter it for notes that are in this notebook and this notebook so you'd only have a list of YouTube videos that were published or podcasts that were published for example that's something I hope they do uh, but they they haven't done that yet so we wait and see so that's how I create my content the next thing is uh, to do with uh, using Markdown and editor shortcuts um, in the note editor. So Upnote supports Markdown as do many apps. Some apps like Evernote have a kind of a rudimentary Markdown support but not a full Markdown support. Upnote takes it quite a lot further I think than Evernote does. Uh, Markdown is really useful to learn for quick formatting as you type. So for example, you can put in headers with a hashtag for heading one, two hashtags for heading two, and so on and so forth. But then you can use it for all kinds of formatting. So I think I'm right in thinking that two stars bolds it, which it does, and one star is for italic and so on. So if you can learn your markdown formatting language it's really helpful when you're writing in Upnote to do quick formatting as you type without having to uh, without having to use the mouse. So I'm going to put a link in the description below uh, for the video so to a site where you can find some basic information about markdown formatting language. But beyond that, the editor has a whole host of keyboard shortcuts that are built in for all of the different formatting things that you can do down here. I'm just going to get rid of the sidebar for a moment. Um, you know, you've got your basic ones uh, that you can do through Markdown, but you can add headings or bold using Command B and Command I and Command U for these kind of things. But then you can also uh, change the text color using keyboard shortcuts. Uh, command option and then 1 to 8 for the 8 colors and then command option shift 1 to 8 for the highlighter colors. You can do the alignment and everything like that. Um, my favorite uh, command and I think that's a full stop if you select text and then press that it puts it in a collapsible section um, and then you can obviously undo that using command Z and then you've got your code blocks adding links and dividers, embedding YouTube videos, basically anything uh, that you can do, you can do with a keyboard shortcut in Upnote. So I'm again going to put a link in the description below to Upnote's help page listing all of the different keyboard shortcuts for editor formatting. Again, really helpful if you can learn the ones that you use most often, so as you type you don't need to keep fiddling around with the mouse, you can just uh, use the keyboard shortcut or the markdown formatting to format your text as you're typing it. it can really speed up your note taking and speed up uh, your content creation and is a key to mastering uh, an app like Upnote. The third thing uh, that I want to talk about in terms of mastering Upnote is sort of application wide keyboard shortcuts, not to do with the editor so much but the whole application. Now there are loads of these some of them are global shortcuts that work anywhere on your computer system um, and not just in Upnote. So again, there's a link in the description that goes to Upnote's keyboard shortcut page. Um, but here are my top five and I'm going to go through them for you now. That's my top five in addition to the ones I've already shown you about going into focus mode and typewriter mode, which would be part of my top five, but because I've already done them in this video, I'm going to give you a different set of five. 
So by far my favourite is the global quick ad for a note. So if I was on this particular blog post here by Carl Pauline, building a time management system from scratch, and I wanted to make a note and upnote, then Command, Alt and N, and you get this little box come up, type a note, and then uh, you can close that or exit it, and it comes in to whichever notebook you are working on. Um, that's just really helpful because you might want to make a quick note of something whilst you're working on something else and uh, that is a great way to do it. But another favourite of mine that goes with this is the global shortcut which pastes things to upnote. So let's say for example uh, I particularly liked this paragraph here and I pressed uh, command C to copy that to my clipboard then if I use the shortcut which is command control uh, option and V that gets pasted into a new note and up note immediately again in whatever notebook you are working on and now I, I love this um, for when I'm working on documents or when I'm reading stuff and there's a, f a phrase or a quote that I want to put in up note that's what I use at least one of the ways in which I do it. I'll show you another one in a moment. Search everywhere. That's my next uh, favorite keyboard shortcut. That's Command G, and that automatically, when you press that, uh, takes you into the search box where you can search all of your notes um, for whatever it is that you would like to find. So let's just come back here. I also like using the information pane, so that's my next one. Uh, that's Command Shift I, and that just brings up this information pane. That's where you get things like word counts. It would also be where things like, uh, as I said before, if I put a tag in, let's just put an upload tag in there. Um, that's going to appear in your information pane under tags. And then any notes that link to this particular note, this is where the backlinks would be as well. So I use that quite a bit. Uh, and then the last one is just these two, the quick access for pinning a note uh, or adding it to quick access, which is Command Shift P or Command Shift S. So if I do that for just the pin one, that automatically pins it to the top of the note list. And then that adds it to your quick access menu, uh, which is just up here but let's get rid of that for now and unpin that. So those are my top five keyboard shortcuts. Global quick add, global paste, to up note, search everywhere, information pane, and quick access to pin and um, start uh, and add a note to quick access. Those are the, the five shortcuts that I use most often. Number four, up note mastery. Sharing and publishing notes. Now, this is really useful if you've produced something and you want somebody else to see it, but they uh, upnote is a personal note taking tool, so there's no collaboration feature or anything like that within it. It's just for individuals to use, but you can share your notes with people. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to this note, which is an old blog post of mine, which is available on, on my website if you want to go and read it. Uh, it's available there, but if you click this link here, you can share that via a web link. So this note is now shared, and anyone who has this link can view it. And I'll just show you what this looks like. So I'll open up a new tab, paste that link in, and then this is what it looks like uh, on the web uh, when you share it with people. And the beautiful thing about this is if you go back in here, you can generate a new link, which means this link will no longer work. If you've given it to somebody by accident um, and you don't want them to have access to it anymore, you can just generate a new link and share that link to the people you do want to have access. Or if you click stop sharing, this note is no longer available via any link. And if I refresh the page, you get an error. So that is a great way of sharing things with other people. Now, using this feature, you can also publish notes if you want to. It's just a web link that 
as you saw, leads to the page. So if you wanted to use Upnote as a way of publishing your blog posts, you can do that. That uh, If you want to have a blog uh, and you want to do it really, really cheap and you're writing everything in Upnote, you can publish the notes and then share the links and people can then read them. That is a way you can do it. And if you want to use content or other things that you've created in Upnote and add that to a website or uh, publish it that way, you can do that as well. Uh, you could put that link um, in a menu or on a page of a website and that is a way of sharing and publishing your notes. And then lastly, I want to talk about using the Web Clipper but also ways of complementing the use of the Web Clipper. Now obviously the Web Clipper is fairly standard. Um, so you could bookmark this article using the Web Clipper but one of the things I like doing is something I miss about Evernote was highlights that I made in my Read Later app, which at the time was Instapaper, would automatically sync via If This Then That into Evernote. Now, Upnote doesn't have an API or anything like that, so you can't do that, and I really miss it. Some years ago, before I found Upnote, I actually stopped using Instapaper, uh, and I used something called Raindrop, uh, .io, which has all the features that I wanted and is free. So here's what I do. I've discovered that using the um, uh, global shortcut for pasting to Upnote, Raindrop um, gives you your highlights if you've read. So when I read this article in the app, it gives you your highlights down here. So these are the, the three sections that I highlighted in that article when I read it. And if I click this button, it will copy those highlights to the clipboard. And then if I do my command option control V, they get pasted into Upnote, just those three sections and a link to the original article. So that is something that I do as I read through articles and I make highlights of them. I can then post those highlights into Upnote using that uh, global keyboard shortcut. So those are the five things I wanted to share with you today, five ways in which you can use Upnote um, in different ways through the day, through the week. Uh, if you have liked this video, please do click that like button. Please do subscribe, subscribe to the channel. Uh, what's coming next is I'm going to start looking uh, more broadly at my whole um, second brain productivity system, whatever you want to call it. So I'll be looking at how I use Upnote with the other apps that are in my system like Todoist um, and a little bit of Notion in there, as well as taking you through more details how I do my weekly planning, how I do my daily planning, monthly planning, yearly planning, and in part how Upnote helps me with this. So please do subscribe, you'll see all of that as the as the channel continues to develop and please do check out the two videos that are showing on your screens now previous episodes in this series if you've not watched them already please do check those out and i will see you on the next episode